So all my sources uh, come from the news reports and accurate sources. So this uh, October 7th thing is starting to look like a sloppy, sloppy setup. Israel admits it killed his own at the Nova Music Festival. All right, I'm going to put a couple of these things together. I'm not going to put everything together, but I'm going to explain everything. So, they admit they killed their own. Did y'all hear that they're, they're burying these cars? All of these cars are being buried. And now, it's like, people, it, it's like this. Um, so, they had intelligence on... October 5th is that this thing was going down. And then at the same time, they gave an extension to the people to be there October 7th because the Nova Music Festival ended October 6th. Hmm. According to police sources, the party was originally planned for Thursday and Friday with an extra day on Saturday added on Tuesday of that week at the organizer's request. The last minute changes strengthened the assessment that Hamas didn't know of the event. But do y'all understand this? This means the organizer knew. He knew. And it's obvious this organizer was tipped off by the intelligence who knew to get him an extra day. You got to understand that the people that was at the Nova uh, Music Festival was the people that's like world peace type people. And uh, the Zionists is not with that. I even seen a video at first with one of the victims uh, from the Nova Festival saying that a combat helicopter was shooting at them. Shooting fire at them. And a lot of people was burnt. So what's going on? Did uh, the government want the people at the Nova Music Festival exterminated and try to uh, put everything in one little uh, situation? So listen to this. Listen to this. Now they're saying this. Now, now tell me how this add up. Defense officials in Israel actually held urgent consultations the night before October 7th about a possible Hamas attack. However, no one in the IDF notified the organizers of the Nova Music Festival to let them know about the potential threat, the potential risks. And as a result, Hamas carried out those atrocities the day after on October 7th, killing hundreds so of people. So you see how she pointed out Hamas there, but she don't want to say nothing about the uh, combat helicopter. And you know they was releasing a lot of the footage and the footage was showing them just taking people. They wasn't showing them murdering people. So technically, everybody know that this uh, thing could have been prevented. You understand what I mean? So my thing was, why didn't they warn them? Listen to this, top defense officials held urgent consultation the night before October 7 about a possible Hamas attack but no one on the idea of notified. They notified the uh, people at the Nova Music Fest nobody notified the post, the command post and they had some of the weakest surveillance at the command post so it's a lot of stuff you need to look into you know what I'm saying so to make this fact, somebody made billions betting against Israel shares that they stock market was gonna fall, and they blaming Hamas for uh, um, investing millions in Israel um, um, betting against his shares. And uh, this is a uh, ancient Rothschild tactic. You know, you know, y'all know about that. You know what he did, how he betted against the army and he went over there, sent the message, the stock fell, he gained control of all of the country's currency. Well, somebody within the Israeli government betted against Israel. And here is the report, and it was done by stock experts and um who um used to doing securities and exchanges and they noticed the transactions. But now, guess what? Fact checkers are saying that um the story is fake. 
But notice who they saying reported it. They're saying um, they didn't report it because they probably didn't. That's not who reported it. Anyway, 